Hello and welcome. Today I want to share a project I completed for the Recycle, Repurpose, and Reuse prompt in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. If you're interested in joining the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group, I will leave a link in the description box below, but please make sure you answer all four of the questions or your request will be declined. And that's very important because sometimes people just miss the questions or one or two of the questions. Anyway, this is my project. I decided to decorate some cans with some um, fabric and some gel prints that I have on deli paper and on plain copy paper. So um, I'm showing you the cans that I'm decorating, my fabric that I'm using, and my um, gel prints there. I'm showing these things twice because I started recording and then I don't know what happened but I decided to redo it but just to have a little extra time to talk about uh, what I'm doing I decided to leave everything in. So I have this really cute fabric that I picked up at a thrift store recently and I wanted to use it because I thought it would look really cute on the cans. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really sure how the fabric would attach to the cans, whether it would work well or not. It worked fine for me. And I'm showing you that this can in particular that I'm using, I'm going to overlap that fabric onto the inside because it has a sharp edge. It's one of those soup cans that you um, can open with a little tab and it leaves a sharp edge there. The other cans I opened with a can opener that does not leave a sharp edge. So anyway, I'm tearing the fabric because I also like that torn fabric look and just uh, again measuring haphazardly as I do sometimes. I'm okay with a little overlap. In fact, I probably want a little overlap and I'm using um, matte medium to attach the fabric which you'll see in a moment. Now I have never done this before so I wasn't sure if the matte medium would work well or not but it it worked fine. Um, you, I think you could also use Mod Podge, maybe some Elmer's glue. Um, I don't know if you have what it use whatever you have and just experiment. They're just you know <laughs> aluminum cans or maybe I don't know if they're aluminum, but they're just uh, you know ran you know cans that uh, you can recover if you don't like the way they look and so on. So I'm applying a lot of matte medium, especially for the fabric. It's not a real thick fabric, but I just felt like I really um, needed to use a lot of matte medium and I it, I was right. So um, the other thing I wanted to say about the cans is I sometimes people sand things like cans or, or um, surfaces that are shiny. I don't always do that. Um, I know it's supposed to adhere better, but I don't know. I just, you know, as I've said before many times, I just kind of go with the flow, go by, you know, do things uh, by the seat of my pants, just try things and see how they work. And often they work out fine. So this worked out fine. Um, but if you feel like you need to um, sand the cans first, by all means, go for it. I've sped this up a little bit because I'm just gluing and attaching the fabric and that's about it for this one, except, oh, I did want to say too that I applied matte medium under and over. And then as I went back to check it, I noticed a few little sort of like bubbles in the fabric. So I just went back and, uh, and added some more uh, matte medium on top. And that's what I'm doing there. So then I just set those aside to dry or that one aside to dry. I'm adding a little bit more matte medium on top there. As I said before, I just really wanted to have a, the best chance of the fabric adhering well. So set that aside to dry and then I'm going to use the gel prints. Now I have some deli paper that I got on Amazon that's 12 by 12 and that's what I often use to do gel prints. But I also use copy paper. You'll see some of that. So I'm just I just picked out some that appealed to me and then again I'm really not measuring anything just tearing the paper um, and I wanted to apply not just one piece to each 
can I wanted to have like um, blocks of papers so that's what I'm doing there I really like that one that has the two um, colors the same design but two different colors on it so I'm doing the same thing that I did with the fabric I'm applying the matte medium under and I'm also applying it on top of the paper the deli paper is thin so I was pretty sure that it would adhere well but I am still using quite a bit of matte medium as you can see there and then I do have of course that bit at the bottom that I will trim off later. I didn't want to trim it while it was wet because it can just tear so easily even if you're trying to cut it with scissors so I wanted to let it dry a bit first. So then I just um, pick another piece of, of uh, paper that I think will look good um, and that I decided on that one. So it's of course very subjective. You can use whatever colors and papers you think look good together. You could cover uh, a can with one paper with the same design over all of it if that's your preference. So it's um, a project that you know has many different ways that you can accomplish this. So I'm doing the same thing over and over again as you can see I'm not really measuring but just kind of eyeballing things it works fine for me <laughs> to do it that way and um, I'm pretty happy with the results I'm going to keep tearing pieces and applying them I tore the corner of that one which is not so great but I think I end up using it so there you can see <laughs> how I measure things. Um, I'm not sure if I should, I don't think I show the rest of the cans and how I decorated them, but they're basically doing the exact same process. And then um, I'd be back to show you how I further decorate them once they're all dry. I'm trying to decide which way to place that paper and even though it has that little tear at the corner there I'm okay with that and again overlapping the other papers are fine and there you have it okay so I'm gonna do the same thing for the with the other cans and that's what I'm saying there all right, so I, my cans are decorated, they're dry, and once they were dry, I trimmed the bottoms of most of them. I decided, I'm showing you how they look, I decided that I wanted to decorate them a little bit with some trims because some of them looked a little plain, and um, I just thought they looked unfinished, but I left some of them without trim and some I use the trim so you'll see how that looks shortly. I used the Fabri-Tac glue to accomplish the trim because I just thought that would work better. So I'll be back and show you how those look in just a second. Oh, but first I wanted to show you how the cans look because I didn't really show you how they turned out. I love the shiny gold as always. I put a little tiny piece of vintage book page there that because I had a little gap and I think that actually looked turned out really nicely that's the one that I showed at the beginning how I decorated it I had some extra paper at the bottom I didn't want to trim it too much to have the can showing at the bottom so I'll glue that with some Fabri-Tac glue I really like this one too this was really a fun and easy project again I had a little bit of extra but that one I think is fine so I'll be back to show you how the trim looks okay here is how my project turned out with some things in the containers I love the way it looks it's hard to um, take a picture of this from above <laughs> So I'll just do it this way. Um, I put some pencils and some tools and some other art uh, materials, some brushes and so on in my um, containers. And I just love the way they look. And you can turn them if you want different colors. You can turn them whichever way you want to. Here's that, how that one looks. I just really like this project. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.